Hi and welcome to this channel, Martha Makwata here again. So today, uh, before I tell you what I'm doing, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you've not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing to join this amazing family. If you've subscribed and you're back again, thank you so much for always watching videos on this channel. So today, I'm going to show you a grocery haul, a mini grocery haul, just a weekly grocery. So we'll go straight into the video. So before I share with you our mini grocery haul, I also just wanted to share with you this shopping of water. Do you also buy water like myself? I bought these five jerrycans. Are they called jerrycans? Yeah. No, there are six. Six of them. One of them has already been fixed on the dispenser. These are five. These are to last us for around three weeks. And we buy them from these distributors called Pure Fresh. They sell 20 liters at 100 shillings. I'm not promoting, I'm just giving you an idea. If you already know about them and you're from Kenya, kindly comment. They have really saved me. I used to buy one bottle at 300 shillings and we used to refill two bottles per week. So just imagine, two bottles per week at 300 shillings. And right now I do uh, six bottles at 600 shillings. So the cost that I used to buy uh, for, for a week, now it lasts us for a month. It, in fact, it was 330 shillings. But right now, we save. So this one is just a hack. If you already know about Pure Fresh, kindly comment. If you don't know about them, then I've given you a secret right here consider trying their water i'm working on buying a, a distiller where i'll be able to distill my own water but before then i have this so they've got my back so i'm just sharing with you this so we'll go straight into our weekly grocery shopping so i already told you that i'm doing my weekly grocery haul i was at the market this evening very late in the evening so i managed to buy a few things which i just want to bring to you and the aim of bringing this video is just to share with you how it's very hard nowadays to find things in the market there is no food in the market or is it the market where i go kindly comment the market where you go and if you find plentiful of foods especially vegetables i've really struggled to do so looking here i was able to buy sugar cane these were three long canes so, and uh, it was able to produce this let me just open and show you the sugar cane they have picked the gaps you see like here someone has just picked there here <laughs> yeah. Someone has picked. They have picked some and enjoyed, which is still okay. My family loves sugarcane so much. I bought this carrot right here. This was worth a hundred bob. I think for the carrots, I will not complain. This is a good buy. So this was worth the buy. They are very fresh. Maybe my camera is not doing these carrots justice i also bought this maize this here and this maize is for our githeri githeri is the mixture of beans i normally mix beans some ground nuts some uh, there is a bean type which is called njugumawe then we boil our githeri so this githeri was a hundred a hundred shillings ten shillings per uh, maize cob. I went to the cereal shop. Cereal is where we buy dry grain, dr legumes, and ground nuts, and generally nuts. And I was able to buy two kgs of 
ground nuts as you can see this is a kilo that's a kg the other one is a kg i also bought popcorn this is a kg of popcorn this here is the onion onions that i was able to buy sorry so this here is the onions the onions costed me 150 shillings it is not so good they were selling three pieces for 20 shillings so three of them like this for 20 shillings but i still think this was not good enough so from here is where i started feeling the heat i think inflation rates are high then i bought the garlics these three pieces this was not so bad as the onions another place where i will really complain are these irish potatoes this basket for 400 shillings this is too too much way expensive i used to fill this basket and have another half for 400 shillings just imagine the whole of that compare that to the purple one below for sure they are very different very very different this one is very big the other and in fact this one is not even half of this but this costed me 400 today i think either irish potatoes are out of season or we just have an issue with inflation so i don't know which one is the issue then i bought these tomatoes these were 200 shillings i'll not complain so much because it's a big basin as you can see filled with them these ones will give us service for a while i bought lemons these ones here one piece was going at 10 shillings 10 kenyan shillings and they they seem to be very juicy so i think these were not a bad buy and uh, I bought these uh, very dark green uh, mangoes. These mangoes are normally unique. They look green, but when you cut the inside, they're normally very yellow and very sweet. So we love them. All of us as a family love them. And so I bought them. I also bought those uh, apples. They looked so fresh. Let me just zoom in. Yeah, they are so fresh. And so I decided to buy those. And so, and I also bought uh, cabbages. I bought these two cabbages right here. Let me just bring them closer. Yeah, those two cabbages. And these ones, though they are not so fresh, but they are fresh enough to serve us. So these two cabbages were going for 40 shillings each, meaning they were 80 shillings each. So you can guess below how much this shopping could have costed me. That shopping up to the sugar cane there. This is what I was able to buy. I didn't find favorable green vegetables. I wanted kales. They were not so good. I wanted uh, managu, they were not so good. And again, I didn't want to buy them and then lack time to prepare. And then the way things are expensive, I don't want things to go stale. So I'll buy them in time when I have time to prepare. So this is what I was able to buy. I had around 2,200 shillings for the whole of this. Yeah. And that is what I spent for this. So I think I've come to the end of this video. Kindly, if you love such con content, remember to subscribe so that I'm able to create even more for you. So until the next one, bye for now.